If you want news, I'm gonna cover it. No, I don't like that. Welcome to the Redheaded Geek Show. As a starting note, did you know that the Pope, Pope Francis, he's so cool by the way, he said that the internet is a gift from God. Like yesterday. Enter music. <laughs> Pope, dude, you're great, but you are aware that humans invented the internet, right? <laughs> yeah, he knows that. The internet is a great place for us. Speaking of, Google, of course, just bought Nest, which has caused a lot of reaction because this is more than just another buyout, my friends. Just at the top of my head, Google's been behind uh, about 200 companies. They huge. But this is the latest and greatest validation that a lot of Google's happiness comes with the amount of sensor-related companies they can get their hands on. You're watching me right now, aren't you? If there's anything Google does best, it's having access to your data. Sensors are the core of Google's business. So many reactions. What is Google's intent with this? The takeaways, the drawbacks from buying Nest. But what do you guys think? Considering Google also made more green investments, 75 million in Texas wind farms this week, is Google becoming a green company? Or is it more sufficient to say Google is an everything company? So hey, Apple is finally sizing up their devices. Uh-huh. The company is planning to release two new iPhones just this year. Sounds like somebody's in the mood for some competition with Samsung or other big screen devices. One model is said to be larger than 4.5 inches, while the other larger than 5. Is it just me or are the iPhone screen sizes like just right? If we wanted something bigger, wouldn't we switch to another company? Well, according to Apple, bigger phones are popular in Asia, and that's where they're trying to promote more growth. So, I guess I get it. Apple tablets. Could it be? Blackberry making a comeback? Did Blackberry just become rescued from complete oblivion? No. But the US Department of Defense is about to roll out a fancy new wireless network and the primary device it wants to use on it are BlackBerry handsets. More than 80,000 Blackberries will be supported on this new network. Just to compare, a mere 1,800 iOS and Android devices together are to be initially supported on this new network. Welcome to the first time you're ever going to hear BlackBerry and winning in the same sentence. But it is pretty obvious why they're doing it. I'm not going to say, put your tinfoil hats away, society. I'm gonna say, how adorable, government. Blackberry is finally getting a belly rub. Wait, that's, okay, there we go. Belly rub, why would I? But for real, Blackberry is much more difficult to penetrate from the outside than others. Plus, their mail servers are known to be heavily encrypted, so of course the government would benefit by using them. I mean, why do they get to use safe phones and we don't? This makes me wonder how much bigger BlackBerry would be if they didn't try to go the consumer route and just stuck with businesses and government agencies this entire time. You know? Finally, and real quick because this makes me do this. Wi-Fi causes cancer now, and that's official. How do we know? Well, the internet says it. Wait, that's the definition of ironic. Like if I looked it up on the internet, then I'd get cancer, but I'd also get the definition of ironic. <laughs> Remember folks, if A, it's popular, B, it's new, and C, it's invisible, then you know what it is. That's right, it's a cancer-causing death ray inflicted by typing on a computer, wanting to kill your kids. Or Wi-Fi to you and me. Emails from all over the world are expressing concern about the dangers of Wi-Fi in schools, and as a result, a school, an actual school in New Zealand, has decided to remove Wi-Fi from junior classes and replace it with cable-based internet. And you know, I've never heard of an electrical cable hurting anyone. Plus, those microwave things that you nuke your kids' mac and cheese are just 
You know, I wonder what's worse, the microwave or the mac and cheese for your kids. Don't take Wi-Fi out of schools. Thank you guys so much for watching. Each and every one of you that watch my show make me so happy. And like and subscribe and share with your friends. And leave me comments if you have opinions about these topics because I will reply and I will read them. I always do. Bam. <laughs>